Can someone explain to me why Google thought it was a good idea to put a thermometer at the back of their smartphone in 2023? If you're a Pixel fan and you're thinking of upgrading to the Google Pixel 8 or 8 Pro, the best time to buy is now. When you pre-order the Google Pixel 8, you're going to get the Pixel Bot Pro valued at $189. For the Pixel 8 Pro, you get the Pixel Watch 2 valued at $349. That's a good deal. If you're interested in pre-ordering, I'm going to leave links in the description of this video. So, what's new with the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro? Spec-wise, starting with the Pixel 8, it's 10 grams lighter than the Pixel 7 but maintains the premium build. The screen is noticeably brighter with peak brightness at 2000 nits. Powering the Pixel 8 is the Tensor G3 processor. It has the same rear cameras as the Pixel 7. The front camera is now a 10.5 megapixel shooter. The battery is a bit bigger at 4575 mAh and it has a faster wire charging at 27 watts. Now moving on to the Pixel 8 Pro, a slight improvement in the build quality, the front and rear glass is protected with Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2 and it has the same IP rating as the Pixel 7 Pro. The Pixel 8 display is also brighter, it can get as bright as 2400 nits, it's powered by the Tensor G3 processor, it comes with the same cameras in terms of megapixels, except for the ultra wide camera it's been improved, it now has a 48 megapixel ultra wide camera from a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera and the battery is 50 milliampere bigger, the wire charging speed has been improved to 30 watts and let's not forget about the thermometer at the back <laughs> spec wise there isn't a significant change from the previous model what google is focusing on now is the use of ai to enhance user experience for example with the google pixel pro earbuds if you're in a noisy environment the earbuds will reduce the background noise and enhance your voice so that you can be heard properly by the other person and from the samples it doesn't distort your voice making you sound like a robot so that's good also when you're listening to music and you start talking the pixel Pixel Bot Pro will pause the music and turn on transparency mode so that you can hear what's going on around you. Now moving to the Tensor G2 chipset, Google says you're going to get the very best Android experience using their smartphone. One of the new features they shared on stage was that you can long press the power button and ask the Google Assistant to read a web page for you. Now this isn't new, all the Android smartphones I have around me can do this. The call screening feature has also been improved but that feature won't be available in all countries. Why Google? Now, Google didn't share benchmark numbers, they didn't talk about the performance, and they didn't talk about the gaming capabilities or if the smartphone overheats like the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro. So you have to wait for my unit to come so that I can test that out. Now, where things have improved is in the camera department thanks to AI. These cameras are packed with softwares to enhance pictures. It has a feature called Audio Magic Eraser where it can remove background noise from video. So imagine if you're walking in a busy street with traffic noise, with Audio Magic Eraser, you will be able to remove the unwanted noise from a video. Where I'm from, recording a video in traffic is just asking to be robbed. <laughs> Best take is one of the new features that the internet is going crazy about. Some people like it, Others don't, but I personally like it. The Best Take feature allows you to change your facial expression so that you can have a perfect picture. If someone isn't looking at the camera, you can change their face and I think it looks cool. The Magic Eraser feature has been improved. Before, you could only remove objects from pictures, but now you can crop and move a person or an object anywhere you want in the picture and even change the color of the sky if you want. Zoom Enhance allows you to zoom into a normal picture and it will enhance the picture, giving it more details when you zoom into the picture. Video Boost is another feature that got my attention. Once activated, it will make the video you captured look better. They did a comparison with the iPhone 15 Pro Max and I must say it looks better. But Google spoiled it by saying that this feature will not be available till December 2023. Assistant with Bird is also a new feature that is available. It's basically an AI that you can speak to for answers. I mean, this isn't new. We already have ChatGPT on smartphones already. I've been using it and I must say it's really good. But don't be too excited. Assistant with Bird isn't available right now. You would have to wait for two months. Gbot can now fix typos. The recorder app that can transcribe audio to test can now give you a summary of what it has transcribed. That's pretty cool. Now, Google isn't a company that wants to dazzle you with specs or how fast their smartphones are. What they're focusing on is how AI can make you enjoy using your smartphone and improve the user experience. My issue with that is those features are cool but not too many people will care about them. But what do you guys think? Let's chat in the comment section below. Oh, I almost forgot. With the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro, Google will support those smartphones with 7 years of software updates. That's impressive but would you use a smartphone for up to 7 years? Let me know in the comment section below. Anyways, thanks for watching, expect a review and comparison video as soon as I get my hands on the Pixel 8 and 8 Pro. Valor Reviews, signing out.